Hello and welcome to tutorial number six. Last tutorial we learned a little bit about how the um, game loops, you know, update, blah blah blah. Our game now has seven classes, which means it's getting pretty big, right? No, probably not. This probably has like a good hundred or so. Anyways, this we're about to take it up a notch. I mean a big notch. We are about to start making random terrain generation. So let's make a class called blocks. And um, maybe I'm going a little too ahead. Well, um, let me explain what I'm going to do. Hold on. Um, Paint.net. Okay. This might be a little weird. Sorry. Just um, fill it in right. This is what I'm going to be doing. So let's say that this is your player, right? We're going to be making simple RAM terrain generation. And I mean, like this. Just simple, you know. This is basically what the computer is doing. Uh, very, like, a million times slower. We're going to do it like that. So far, the player has no collisions, blah, 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 nothing. So, you know, I think I get the idea. Dirt, whatever, you know. And then, by the end of this tutorial, it's probably going to be a three-part tutorial, you'll have stone, right? And I'm not going to say this, because although it's a pretty picture, it's not important. Let's create a um, new method uh, class, and let's call it um, creation. So whenever we create our um, world, this is what's going to happen. And let's um, make a new wor a class called um, World Gen. You know, whatever. Creation. You don't need the player. You don't need the key events. You will need the board. Right? Public board. That means when the board's created. Basically, creation.create. Create the map, basically, or create the game. And we're not going to do anything in there yet. Or we might even do um, world gen um, dot gen flat. Create method in gen flat or uh, world gen. It's going to create a flat terrain. And first things first, um, we'll hold on. There are your images, blocks. Um, just going to have a uh, dirt. Don't worry, I'm, I'm not doing anything to my game. This really isn't that important. This is more like a back of file anyways. Okay, we have all three, right? Let's go into here. Source, new, folder. Let's name it blocks. Now, it's very important what you name it. Everything that's um, together should have a... The first word should be the same. So, dirt, dirt. And this is special because it's grass, but it's still dirt. So we're going to name it dirt grass, not just grass, dirt grass. This makes things much more easy to organize. Dirt.jpg, dirt grass.jpg, stone.jpg. I'm just going to get rid of this. Or, you know, we have sure, whatever. Alright. Let's do something else. Let's make a new class called block images. I'm sorry if I'm going fast in this, you know. Public, public, image, get, um, block, images. I don't know. And, int, type. Type is going to be like our ID tag. So, everything, you know, a block of one type has... Um, is grass or something. A block two type is dirt. You know, you, you get that. Block three, stone. Yeah, you basically get it. Alright, um, yeah, block images. If type equals one, return, um, we'll set it to no for now. Else if type equals two, Return no else. Actually, 
else if type equals 20. I might be thinking, why 20? Think of it this way. Let's say we had 2 and 1. Those are dirt types. 1 is dirt, 2 is dirt grass. What well, if we made stone 3? But along the way, we decided to add a different type of dirt. And we think, oh, just make that dirt to type 4. It just gets really hard to organize. See, I have this list of block types, and I try to organize them by category. Wood, you know, I mean, you get the idea. You want to categorize everything. So, just in case we decide to add 20 different types of dirt, we're safe. Because we're saying it to 20. And we will return null. Um, you know, unnull. Well, yeah, sure, we'll return unnull. One more thing. Um, close that. New class block dirt. It's going to contain our, um, images for dirt, so private remember this from the background image icon dirt equals new image icon um, remember block dirt dot class dot get resource um, blocks dirt dot jpeg be sure that you import and to and yeah dirt grass this is why it's important to categorize everything and see how easy it is there boom done public um, static image um, get Return dirt dirt dot get image. Um, hmm. there we go. That's kind of weird. Ah, okay. So make these static. That's important. Um, public static image get dirt grass. Same thing. Only we're going to return dirt grass dot get image boom done. To create one more class. We name it block stone. And remember, this just makes things much more easier in the future. I'm just going to copy paste one because we're lazy. Stone. Stone. Get stone. Stone. And this is more optional. Stone. Um. Just wait. Block stone. One more thing. Block images. Now we have our images. Block stone dot. Get stone. Block. Dirt, um, dot, get dirt grass. See how easy this is when you categorize everything. Dirt, dot, get dirt grass. Alright, and there you go. Um, almost done. Well, actually, this is probably it for this video. Next video, I'll be working on the terrain generation. So, see you later.